Yesterday, the world's fastest man raced one of the biggest streamers on any social media platform. And as many people did expect, the 2024 100-meter Olympic champion Noah Lyles did in fact manage to win this 50-meter dash, and he bagged a nice payday of $100,000 as well. In this 50-meter exhibition, hosted by none other than Mr. Beast, who is holding the starting gun here, I think it's safe to say that I show speed surprised many with his shorter sprinting abilities, as he actually got a quick step or two on Noah in the beginning. But then, with his classic finishing speed, Noah did find his way to the finish line first. Now, I've rewatched and retimed this 50 meter dash various times, and I've gotten a finishing time somewhere around 5.90 seconds or so, which is pretty fast given the circumstances, and it would equate to a 60 meter dash of around 7 seconds. But this is very much not official, as I've been rewatching this on stream, so without electronic timing, we just have no idea what the time actually is. I have to admit, Speed deserves our respect, and I think if he could give a little more time directly to training, we could actually see him accomplish some pretty decent clockings. Honestly, track just needs more moments like this, with big names putting their money where their mouth is and actually lacing up and racing. And even though Lyles did win this race, the publications online would have you believe that this was way closer than it actually was. In fact, many articles make it seem so close that you'd think it was closer than the Olympic final, which notably was one of the closest finishes in Olympic history, where Lyles just barely won by less than one one-hundredth of a second. Littered across the internet right now are countless articles that make this race seem too close to call. There's Olympic medalist Noah Lyles, nearly defeated by streamer I Show Speed. Then there's Noah Lyles, barely beats I Show Speed in the 50 meter dash. But the one article that left my mind completely twisted out of confusion was this. Track and field community humiliated as Tyreek Hill forced Noah Lyles to face uncomfortable truth after I Show Speed race. Holy cow, there is a lot to unpack here. Now, I don't know about any of you, but personally, I do not feel humiliated about this race at all. I mean, maybe I'm just speaking for myself, and you're free to leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. But I thought this race was pretty cool, and I do not understand any form of humiliation in the aftermath of this 50. Yes, I do think Noah could have gone a little faster, and it certainly would have been a good opportunity for the track world to really show their speed abilities to a wider audience. But when we take a closer look at what actually happened in this race, you'll get an idea of how fast track athletes really are, and why this race panned out the way it did. So the first thing I want you to notice is the start. Right from the gun, speed kind of gets a crazy good reaction. And if you know anything about the importance of a good start, this can actually make or break your race. Also, I thought it was important to note that there were no starting blocks here, which is something that I think could have given this race a little bit more legitimacy compared to what track athletes actually do. But regardless, after about 10 to 15 meters, we saw Noah do what he does best, and that's transition into some crazy top speed. Now you might have missed this part of the race, but from about 20 to 30 meters, just before Noah gets even with the camera here, he accelerated like crazy up to speed, and honestly right here would have been the perfect opportunity to put forth a solid effort, continue accelerating, and absolutely drop speed. And I'm not saying that he needed to go 100% or anything, but a good effort here would have dropped him without question. But instead of doing this, he did some side work for the camera and proceeded to Euro step his way to the finish, which actually reminded me of the 2022 World Champs where he did the same thing in the qualifiers. Again, this race was a pretty amazing example of how fast speed actually is. But come on, this was a no brainer. Noah really did win this race without much of an effort, and the more you go back and watch his opening acceleration, it becomes more and more clear that he won this race without digging at all. Now, in the wake of this race, outside of these articles, we did see Tyreek Hill poke his head into this conversation, and he retweeted this video more or less mocking the situation, claiming that Noah is not going to beat him if they do ever clash. And by the way, I am fully aware that Tyreek is completely trolling these situations for views. I've seen many people do it, and Tyreek does do it more than most. But the important thing to remember here is that Tyreek still has not laced up and raced. In fact, Tyreek didn't even race I Show Speed, so that should really tell you where his psyche currently is. 
Now, there are still discussions going on about a potential 60 meter dash between Tyreek and Noah in 2025, and this would be highly entertaining as well, as it would bring even more viewership to the sport. But for now, Tyreek is still batting zero for zero, so he still has yet to take a stab at any real sprinting event. When looking at this race, I was wondering exactly what Noah's effort truly was. He's had many races this season, he's been on the Diamond League circuit, he was the Olympic champion, he even ran a solid indoor campaign. And with that in mind, I wanted to go back to the indoor season, where we can see Noah's new 60 meter PR of 6.43, and take a look at the difference between his effort here and his most recent race against Speed. I think anyone with a brain knows that Noah was not going all out, but I will say that I do think Speed surprised Noah, hence the result was closer than many people thought it would be. One video that I would highly recommend you check out is the breakdown of this event from Jumpman, a fellow YouTuber who covers all things track, and he's honestly massively underrated. So go subscribe to his page now, you will not regret it. But he made the keen observation that many people on social media really did think that Noah was set to lose here, which just showed me that people still do not understand track speed, even during an Olympic season. All in all, this really was a fun race to watch. I was just left disappointed at how many people were bashing Lyles and misinterpreting what this race actually was. Also, can we quickly address the fact that Mr. Beast was here? I feel like in the wake of this race itself, a lot of people have forgotten that the single biggest page on YouTube just made an appearance on the exact same track where Noah trains. And to me, this only signifies one thing, and that's that Noah is about to be in a Mr. Beast video. And this has been confirmed from a few sources, so make sure to stay tuned and see what Noah does on the biggest channel on YouTube. And now, I would love to hear all of your thoughts about this situation in the comments. What do you think about Noah's race against Speed? What effort do you think he was going at? What do you think about Tyreek Hill's retweet? What do you think about this entire situation? And where do you think we go from here? Do you think Noah needs to race more YouTubers? Do you think Tyreek needs to race Speed? What do you think needs to happen? And upon saying this, I honestly feel like Speed versus Tyreek would actually be a pretty fire race. Anyways, thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.